holy crap, y'all. I'm like two to three whole days late on the video guide. That's actually quite rare. Um, so yeah, while the game is literally still booting because it takes forever, let me just remind you to uh, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash tap tap-tap. Um, even just a buck a month helps me make videos, all that stuff. I also have a coffee, co-fee.com slash tap tap-tap. And uh, PayPal works too. But let's get right into this. Oops, there we go. Finally booted this old thing up. So, it is Valentine's Day, which they almost waited until Valentine's Day just to release the dang uh, event, huh? Um, let's just get right into the hidden fish, take a quick peek here. Silver chocolate idols, those are free unlocks. Heart goldfish is a hidden fish. You need to watch the earn free ribbon ads five times. Those are just these things that you get right in here. Just, you know, watch five ads. Um, it is better to watch the ads later as you, um, as you upgrade the hermit crab. It increases the amount here, so upgrade this as fast as you can. Um, but a lot of the rec unlock requirements do require the goldfish, so I mean, just, just go ahead and get it as soon as you can. Uh, this, unfortunately, there's a lot of ad gating and a lot of weight gating in this event, so be warned. Um, this isn't the most fun event, I would say. Um, not necessarily just because of cost, but a lot of waiting. Um, chocolate sea slug, not hidden, but um, just buy 10 chocolate idols. That's pretty basic stuff. This one. Um, so, a lot of people get confused by hiding fi fish. Um, you need to... Uh, hiding fish is different from a hidden fish. I had a whole video about this just because it's confusing people. So, hiding fish are in this menu. It's in the little spooky clam menu. And you need to make ten fish from here. So, it can be from any of these. You just have to go pick a thing, make a thing. I strongly, strongly recommend that you make with the farm materials. Um, I find that personally a lot easier to get the event currency. Um... It really depends on what you have, but I find that the farm material increase is drastically less significant than the uh, event material increase. There was a couple bugs in this, and I think they might already be fixed. One perk of kind of delaying the video. Not that I did it on purpose. It's been a very busy week, but uh, that part's over. This thing, which I hate, look at it. Don't look at it, actually. Um, this one, you're gonna not like this one. You're gonna have to watch the farm material ad 15 times. So that is in the shop menu in this tab. Watch this 15 times. Almost everything else in the event is gated behind that fish. So you're gonna need to get that as fast as you can. So yeah. It's one of those hurry up and wait events, which is most of them these days. Um, sugar cookie seahorse. You need to buy five new Candy Nautiluses from the Event Fusion tab. Um, like I said, that one specifically requires the fish that we just talked about. Even though it wasn't hidden, you do need to get that balloon fish. Then you need to make five Candy Nautiluses from this. Um, there was a bug where people were losing the fusion materials and not getting the fish. I believe that is fixed, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't heard of anyone getting it since the patch but I'm not entirely sure that it is fixed or not. Um, they didn't actually say whether they fixed it or not in the bug in the patch notes, so good on them for that, I, I guess. Uh, Jelly Turtle, again, not hidden, but let me show you to you real quick. It's a pretty good design. I did a little first impression stream. I usually do a little stream, just checking out the event, just, you know, playing it kind of casually, and then I'll do a guide video when I can. Uh, the, the written guide is always updated first, by the way. The written guide has been updated since, you know, the game had the event. Um, that's on my website, sirtapdab.com. It's in the description. So Jelly Turtle, just buy five cookie seahorses. Again, gated to the previous fish. You can't get this before the balloon thing. You just gotta watch those ads. Um, even worse than that, Valentine's Garden Eel. Eel. This is another watch 15 ads thing, basically, and you have to have the jelly turtle. So again, this requires the balloon thing. Everything does, pretty much. Um, so yeah, just cast Song of the Moon 15 times, which you'd get faster with ads, of course. Uh, Postman Penguin, 
Um, you can get this one early, it's kind of expensive, but you spend 500 crabs. A good way to do that is to get the hiding fish, because you have to get those for another fish in the event. Uh, Valentine's Ray. Howdy, buddy. Need to tap 100 bubbles from Couple Seahorse. That's another fusion fish from the fusion tab of the event from last year. If you have them from last year, you can get them from that, but uh, otherwise you're going to have to make new one. Balloon Oarfish, also known as a condom, uh, by level 10 Hermit Crab, which you should be, you should always upgrade the Hermit Crab as fast as possible. It gets pretty great returns. Um, Valentine Dolphin, by five Balloon Oarfish. Simple stuff, simple stuff. That's right, Parker. That's right? Lace Angel Shark, you need to five new heart rays from previous event. Now, um, when it says new, if you have five heart rays from before, you still have to make new ones. They That tends to be a thing in the new events. Even if you played it before, you still gotta suffer. Sorry. Uh, I already saw that one. The whale, the whale is what it pretty much always is. Own all of the event fish before the whale, and you need to buy 80 total Valentine's 2020 fish. Um, oh, I misspelled Valentine's. Good for me. Um, for those that haven't been on my website, this is in fact my guide. This is what it looks like. It's all designed for mobile and all that crap. So, get it on your... You can even um, put it on your homepage. Just go to the three dots menu on your phone and add to home screen. Uh, my site can actually cache on your device as long as it's supported by your device. Um, so you can, if you got bad spotty internet, that's right Parker, it'll just bring it right up. It's pretty cool. Um, and then, as always with these events, again, uh, where is it? Which one is it? No, that's the paid one. This thing, um, it's a Hello Kitty crossover by the way, which I feel like was not advertised very well. I didn't realize that until I saw in the in-app purchase, but yes, it's a, there's a Hello Kitty thing, by the way. <laughs> um, um, for the Kurumi, you need to get the event quest, as always. Um, so, events are kind of three parts now. There's the hidden fish, which we just went over. There is the expand quest, which I don't really talk about these too much. These are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, it already writes out, nothing is hidden. The one thing I will say about the expand quest, you need to do these in order. So, um, say that you don't make three, <laughs> create three A pair of pygmy right whales. Don't make those right whales yet. Wait until, wait until the um, previous missions have been completed because it doesn't count until you do that. Um, that's the way almost everything works in the expand quest and the regular quest. So do these one by one and always take note that, hey, don't make expensive fish unless you're actually ready to unlock the requirement. Uh, most of these, it's not too big of a deal if you do them early and have to redo them, but the, the three fish, that's a pretty big deal. Those are expensive fish. Um, so the event quest to get the, um, the Hello Kitty thingy, I think that is. It's like a bad guy. I, I, I don't know too much about Hello Kitty. Um, so for the first one, you need to make three chocolate sea slugs, tap the bubble of bouquet sea slug, which is from a prior fish, um, prior event. You need to um, tap 50 of those bubbles. And again, since somebody always asks, those are just these little bubbles that appear over their head. That's what it sounds like. Uh, best way to do that is store all of the other fish, as frustrating as that is and then um, put out three to four of the same fish is most ideal. And then you can tap those bubbles a bit faster. Um, sparkling gifts, collect 100 clams after this quest unlocks. Again, almost everything works like that. If you do it too early, it doesn't count, you have to do it again. 100 clams isn't that bad, but again, it's a time gate. Uh, watch 10 ads for free gems in the shop tab. Another nice <laughs> slow ad gate for you. Uh, collect 1,000 ribbons after this quest unlocks. Not really too bad. You'll probably get that watching the ads. Um, oh no, those are the gem ads. But you know, you, you'll get it for doing the uh, the whole seahorse thing. Uh, hermit crab, rather. Whatever you are. This is the... Oh yeah, first things first, by the way. Uh, every event... Oh, I should have mentioned that earlier. Every event. Go to the palette menu here. Palette at the very bottom. Go down here buy the costume, 
Buy the die, most importantly. I think the die is free, in fact. Or it's very cheap otherwise. But the die gets you the Hermit Crab, which is absolutely essential for every event. And then buy the theme. Just always do that. They're very cheap. They're permanent unlocks. They're cute. They're whatever. Um, I'm not a big fan of this particular costume <laughs> on the Coralite. As you can see, I removed it before the video. But yeah. Um, just always do that. Um, anyway, back to the unlocks. Create five, five new heart sea dragons after the quest. So again, that can be wasted if you make them too early. Um, take five photos of the jelly turtle. Share a photo of the valentine garden eel. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, take one photo of love mailbox expand item. So that's kind of... Um, just kind of slowing you down a little bit. You can get most of these pretty early. Um, it's really just the Valentine's booth that takes a lot because you have to get the uh, the fancy quest fish. Yeah, that, that does slow you down. You do have to wait three days for the daily mission. When it says daily missions, you have to complete all of them um, in the little trophy tab here. And you have to collect the pearls reward. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Ow, my ears. Then you need to five five new postman penguins after the quest. So again, I have to make new ones because it's always like that. Always assume, always assume the least friendly outcome in a Mysterium, unfortunately. It's always, it's always the roughest possible. Um, create five new Valentine Rays. Create five new Valentine Dolphins. Buy five new Valentine Whales. Um, these are the new ones, by the way. So like this, it doesn't mean just any whale that's in a Valentine's Day event. Like, uh, it doesn't mean the pair of Pygmy Right Whales. No, it's the new one. Just specifically called, um, Valentine's Whale. So, that's how you get all of the things. Make that crab dance for anyone it's completely unfamiliar with how the events work. Basically, all you're doing is tap 20 bubbles, make the crab dance, then you can recharge the crab with an ad every five minutes, and that's really the fastest way to get things. And you want to upgrade the crab as fast as possible, so... And for the 80, for the whale to get the 80 fish, the, the best way to do that really is to just make a crap load of these really cheap fish. It's a little bit boring and you end up with like 60 of them usually, but that's the cheapest way to do it by a lot, so it tends to be what happens. So, that is the new event. I guess it's better than the 2017 one, right? <laughs> Uh, everyone hated that one. Um, by the way, the, the Valentine's, the 2017 fish, none of the 2017 Valentine's fish, um, came back. Um, none of the ones that are tied to that, um, Valentine's Day reef. Which I think, I'm not sure if that's even in the game anymore. Did they remove that? I've heard people say that, like, oh no, they, they removed it. And it... <laughs> I think they did. Did they? Maybe it's in here. Le level one Valentine Reef prefab. Okay, no. Oh, it's oh, it's in the wrong tab. Okay, I think they moved it, and they it doesn't have the name anymore. But yeah, that's here's this thing. Not to be mean and show you things that you can't get, but huh. level one Valentine Coral Reef for decoration. Weird. Um, they must have messed with that or something. It says level one, but it's actually max level. I made it before, but yeah. Um, I guess for anybody asking if the Coral Reef is back, it is. Um, you can't get it in this new event, but um, for those of us that got it before and aren't too traumatized by the platypus to be willing to put it out, um, yeah, it's there. So, that's the new event. Thanks for watching. Um, again, check out the written guide on my website. Check out my Patreon if my guides help you out. You can also become a YouTube member, uh, which is basically Patreon, but it's on YouTube and you just give me money every month to support my videos. Um, just click that join button below the video for that. Um, and check out our Discord, sirtaptap.com slash Discord. All the links are in the description too. Hi, Parker. I always try to put stuff in the description, so check those out. Um, See y'all next event, I guess, or next video. I don't only make Abyssrium videos, of course, so...
See you whenever. In fact, I'm doing a live stream tonight, so that'll be fun. Hope to see you there. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.